If Kabbalah says that the Creator is nature, or everything, you know, thoughts, actions, everything that has to do with a reaction, in man and in nature, why we, the majority of the Jews, learn to talk, to ask, to be afraid of God. For example, blessed are you, our God, King of the world, who, com who sanctified us with his commandments and told us to, commanded us to, with this sentence we ask God. So what's the right thing to do? If I put a note in, on the wailing wall, what do I believe? Who does it come to? My hopes or to the Creator? He isn't he listening. He isn't hearing. God forbid that we should think that he has any ears or hands or legs or any senses. We're not talking about personality, a person, the way we understand it. It's a natural force. God in Gematria is nature. So either we're talking about following nature's laws or God's commandments, it's all the same. That's what Bala Salaam writes in the essence of religion and its purpose, as well as in the peace. Yes. Thank you. So what happens is we just need to relate to it in this way. A person who prays changes the desire in his heart by that. And as he changes himself, he, with that common force, with the general force, it's a fixed force. So a person changes all the time. The difference between us, those who study Kabbalah, and those who engage in other methods, including religion, is that a person who believes, a, a religious person who believes, or any person thinks that the Creator should change. The Creator doesn't change. He is benevolent to the good and to the bad. Absolutely, it's not changing. I, the Lord, do not change. What changes is you. If you know how to change according to the Creator, then you are awarded abundance. That's why the wisdom of Kabbalah talks about a change in you, not a change in the Creator. We can cry our whole lives for the Creator to change towards us, but if we don't change by that, He will not, because He's got nothing to change. He's an absolute benevolent, you know, why should He change? How can He change? So how do we change? The wisdom of Kabbalah teaches you how to draw the upper light from above, which is called the light that corrects you. It's called surrounding light. It is written about it in the introduction to the study of the Tensefot and several other places. It's only through this light is one change. So we have only one problem. We are standing opposite a law called God. And if we want to be happy, we need to come closer to that law to know how to keep it. Just as with any law in reality, if we know how to keep it, it's a law. We gain by it. It's the same here. If I know this law and how I can you know, m realize it correctly and come closer to it, then I benefit. That's what the Creator wants of us, to come closer to Him, to be like Him, because by that we have abundance. And the wisdom of Kabbalah explains how we can do that. It's a method for man's correction to match the Creator. We draw a certain spiritual force called the upper light, and it affects us, it changes us precisely according to this law. And then we achieve a good life. What does this law say? This law says you have to be like God, benevolent and in love of others. Very simple. But how do I do it? I don't know how to do it. I have no desire for it, no strength to do it. So it says you don't need to. That just study. By studying, you get this force that gradually corrects you more and more and more. And then you come closer to the Creator and you achieve that good state. To begin with, of course, you are totally incapable. You don't even want to come closer to it. You don't want the corrections. But nature is built in such a way that if you study Kabbalah, it brings you closer and corrects you. So a person is bo born to be like God? Yes. Return of will unto the Lord your God. Any person? Any person. They shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them. Everyone. The whole of humanity? The whole of humanity, not just the people of Israel. Oh, the whole of humanity. For my house shall be called the house of prayer to all the peoples.